are we here today i'm doing the eureka math grade 4 module 3 lesson 8 homework so let's get started number one represent the following expressions with discs regrouping as necessary writing a matching expression and recording the partial product vertically as shown below so a we have 2 times 424 so they represented the expression using discs so 424 but it's times 2 so it's 2 of 424 424 so now we have 424 two times so that's also the same as 2 times 4 hundreds plus 2 times 2 tens plus 2 times 4 4 ones and now with our standard algorithm 424 times 2 first we have 2 times 4 ones which is 8 and then 2 times 2 tens which is 2 times 2 tens that's 40 down and now we have two times four hundreds which is eight hundred and we add all together that's eight four eight so your answer is eight hundred and twenty four no eight hundred forty eight r and b three times four hundred twenty four so four hundred 24 and it's three of that so one two and three so now we can write three times four hundreds plus three times two tens plus three times four ones. And if we do our standard algorithm, times three, the first one here should be three times four ones, and that's 12. And next we have three times the two tens, that is six tens, which is 60. And in the very last column row, we have three times four hundreds. That's twelve hundred. So that's one thousand two hundred. If we add all together, we get two seven two one. So one thousand two hundred seventy two. And also, we forgot our regroup here. We can do two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So ten makes one. Ten ones makes a ten. So we can regroup, and this part, we can also regroup into thousands. So I have one, two, seven, two. That's the same as that. And up here, we can also write 848. All right, see, we have four times 1,424, so it didn't give us anything. So that means we have to make our own table. We have our ones and our tens and our hundreds and our thousands. So 1,424, 1,424. It's four times that, so four of that. Another one. And one last one. So 1,424. That's the same as four times 1,000 plus four times 400. 
plus 4 times 2 tens, and then plus 4 times 4 ones. And also, we can I'm going to regroup for this becomes a 10. Can we regroup. So this should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 9. 6. 1,424 times 4. First one is 4 times 4 ones. That's 16. And then we have 4 times 2 tens. That's 8 tens, which is 80. And then 4 times 4 hundreds. That's 16 hundreds, which is 1,600. And then we have 4 times 1,000. There's 4 times 1,000. 4,000. So I have 6 altogether. 8, 6, 5. Wait, oh, 9. 6, and 1 plus 8 is 9. So 5, 6, 9, 6. That's our answer. All right, in our next page, to represent the following expressions with disks using either method shown in class, regrouping as necessary to the right, um, um, record the partial product vertically. All right, so A, 2 times 617. Let's see, we're using the disks using either method shown in class. So 617, first let's make our um, place value. We have our ones, tens, hundreds, and let's just make thousands. Two times 617, 617, it's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven ones. So that's times two of that. So we draw one more 617. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven. So let's regroup. This is a group of 10. This is also a group of 10. So we have 1,234. Let's use our standard algorithm now. First, we have 2 times 7 ones, that's 14. And then 2 times 110, which is 2 times 10, it's just 20. And then we have 2 times 6 hundreds which is 12 hundreds so that's 1200 all together 1234 is our answer b 5 times 642 let's make our columns we have our ones and our tens and hundreds thousands so five times 642 642 that's five times so we have one and two actually let's keep going in each row so we have two one two three four five one two three four five so we're just going up until five because times five so we need one let's see one two three four five 
right, so let's regroup. Ten. I can go regroup this one. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Regroup. This one can also regroup. Now this one, regroup and take group of 10. Group of 10 and group of 10. So I have three, two, one, and this one zero. So let's see our standard algorithm. First, we have five times two ones, which is 10. And then five times four tens, which is um, five times four is twenty, so that's twenty tens. So that's two hundred. And then we have five times six hundreds. So that's thirty hundreds. So that's three thousand. Add all together. Three thousand two hundred ten. So our answer matches. All right. See, three times three thousand thirty four. Let's make our um, place value. We have our ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. 3,034. 3,000, zero hundreds, three tens, four ones. We're doing this three times. So we can just keep on moving onto one column and then next until we reach three. So we have, so we have one, two, three, one, two, three, and this one will stay the same. One, two, three. So we have 3,034 three times. Let's regroup. Four, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten can regroup and this one cannot regroup so here we have two zero one nine let's do our standard algorithm so here first is three times four ones that's 12 and then three times three tens that's nine tens which is 90 Three times zero hundreds, that's zero. And then here, three times three thousands, that's nine thousands. Let's add two. Nine thousand one hundred two is our answer. Number three. Penelope, every day, Penelope jogs three laps around the playground to keep in shape. The playground is rectangular with a width, let's draw this out, a width of 163 meters and a length of 320 meters. Find the total amount of meters in one lap. So to find that out, all we need to do is basically find the perimeter. So we're not finding the area here, we're finding the perimeter. Perimeter equals 2 times length plus width. So it's 2 times 163 plus 320. That's 3, 8, 4. So it's 483 times 2. 483 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 8 times 2 is 16. And 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Oh, 966 meters in one lap. Can box that. And B says determine how many meters Penelope jogs in three laps. So if there's 966 meters in one lap, then in three laps, we do 966 times three. Six times three is 18. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19, and 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28. So 2,898 meters. That means Penelope jogs 
so much for watching i hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel see you guys next time bye